Daps the in-game leader. And over on the CT side, Summer with two flashes and a kit. And he's going to get an early flash out for banana aggression. And Penta is going to get inquisitive. This should go well. It doesn't. Ethan, the top of that tower, the totem pole. And indeed, I think somebody in Summer might be saying a prayer because at this point, that aggression falls back. I should stop talking. Nope. Punished again for this aggression. You talked about Tai Lu and their willingness to take fights. Well, right now, they were punished. Summer managed to find something out of that one as they start to scarper. But in the meantime, Breezy, he's got a little one for one over in Boiler. Look how happy to take jewels all across the map. They are standing Ooh. forward and posturing a tackle with two huge kills. Now we have a two on two situation. No map control really granted, but everybody's rotating away from this B bomb site. So there isn't any CTs to receive them. You can see that from Damps' freedom. Just strolls into B. He's checking it, but I think he's comfortable in the knowledge that this one is theirs, at least the plant that is. That Molotov, Alex, could come in huge here. We also have someone with that diffuse kit, so key bits of equipment on the board here as it slows down. All frags have come from those that still stand from Tyloo, Summer and Attacker. Now, appropriately, on the attack. Fugly on Newbox does try and push for information. He's just going to be jiggling. He's not willing to take that fight. The time, the best friend of the T's at this point in time. Pun not intended. Daps tagged down to half. They need to put apply pressure. Summer's the one to do it. Already Fugly finds one. This is surely too tall of a task. He makes it difficult, but Daps keeps things safe and a celebratory spray. That's the first. Well, we saw what Summer did on the pistol round. That was a freebie. Someone's going to be trying to play ahead of that smoke, but the flashbang may force him back. He recedes and now re-aggress. Can he find one? They're tagged up so heavy. The spray is good and orcs fill the kill feed. Three for Ty Lu, And they keep this B site at level. Extra close quarters. Breezy's not going to be having children after that round. Oh, 2 HP. He has a shot but it's Cirque. He does ridiculous things. He's anticipating presence towards Banana, but he's going to get caught in transition. They know where he is, but he hits the flick. One versus one. Excret has upgraded to the AK. There's only two HP left. Cirque's heart still beating, and so is mine, because he re -peaks. He does it. Three of them start to charge towards it. Molotov's going to keep Breezy at bay, and Dap's just charging. Look at this. They have... What's this call? Suddenly, they find some speed, and Summer welcomes it as he finds Daps. Not going to work well, though, Breezy with the behead. Great work from Attacker. He's using that smoke so well. The Org, no scope necessary, finds three on top of the bicycle. And now just suck. Oh, was that a nutmeg? It was, I think so. Giggsy would be proud. That's going to be six to two, then Bentet will finish it off. Best pistol for you. P250? Yeah, I think the P250 is the most versatile. 300 bucks as well, what a bargain. Yeah, the Deagle, obviously, the skill cap to use that efficiently all the time is, is quite high. I'm no good anymore. Well, I, uh... Okay, never mind. I was about to reveal far too much about myself. So much more defined than they previously have and their attendances at other majors. I just need to note something right now. As we get close to a minute on the clock and utility is now just being thrown out from the guys from Tyloo. Having double orbs allows you to posture in more forward positions, meaning you don't need to use your utility as quickly. Sure, banana it's needed. You need to make sure they can't just push up for free. You want to get them out of those places. But now we can still see on the board, there's two smokes left. Oh, okay. Hold up. Through the smoke they go. Changing ben, that's ready their for plans. It. Okay, charging now out of balcony. There's so many CTs around him. Fugly, he's behind enemy lines right now. And it is his call of duty to frag. He gets one. Looking for a second. Summer on site. Two there. Excura as well. Scoped in on his location. Three versus three. Bomb just above him. Excura, I'm getting nifty flashbacks. You know how prominent this position can be. We're about to find out if he can connect. Fugly just giving him a tease. Because he's expecting Breeze to go wide. No, still connects. Tyloo have the advantage and it's extended by Summer. It's finished by Summer. And that's in enough. Like the wind is taken from your sails. What? what, what? what? Some, uh, Hello? Somebody, you're, you're on the, you're, you're CT, you're CT. What a bit, <laughs> with an AWP? <laughs> what are you What's doing? happening? What? He's got the frag on cert. Can this is a classic bit of North American pace change. They want to charge an attacker. He welcomes it, finds the first, but this is going so well for NRG. Look at this, shots in every angle. Shot from behind, a taste of their own medicine, perhaps. Summer, in the meantime, finds Cirque, oh. finishes off what Daps did, and oh my goodness, he might even find a third. He does. Summer turns this on a dime, and now just Ben Tet and Breeze. Oh my god, Summer has made this possible. Ben Tet now just with one kill to find the bomb. He can get it. The bomb site towards B was open, but a huge shot from Breezy right there, and that's what NRG needed. 
50 but I wasn't expecting a lot to get done. They do grab an opening kill, but now the mop from Breezy, the hero of last, is going to finish off four. Maybe he'll get the fifth. Grab Let himself him have it. Yeah, there's been lots of aces. Give him another one. Oh, he uh, didn't see Breezy. Him. Breezy, see uh, you left. Uh, Hello? Uh, Hello? Uh, okay. Cool. Oh, Ethan don't want no scrubs. He's going to take the head off somebody. I love this late wave take oh, here in Banana. Wow. Normally we see a take like that early round. They've allowed them to get control, they've trapped them in, and they've bombarded them with utility, which has just blown Ben Tet and somebody well and truly out of the server. Fantastic work from NRG there. I love to see that exchange, Alex. The meta and that is just constantly changing the mind games, the back and forth of the approach. It's the tiny things like that that I love. I'm just also appreciating just how influential the grenades have been from both sides. Everyone is using them to their full effect. I mean, that that round just looked so foreign. Well, back when I used to play, we just throw grenades willy-nilly. Yeah. <laughs> now everything feels like it has a... Everything's been done before. Every, nothing is new. But saying that, we've seen actually a whole lot of... Uh, innovation or at least the thought processes coming into Katowice everyone pulling out the stops here we go charge for Breezy and he's just going to line up too that's the end surely for Excure trying to keep hold of his orc for a moment longer but it will be Cirque once again to connect he actually hasn't got and the dragon starts its flight path first somebody falls though that's positive for NRG and look at oh this God. attacker with some hyper aggressive. He's trying to cut off the rotate, but it's not going well. It took him too long. And now Cirque is there to catch him as he tries to hightail it back to the site. They don't have the site. Attacker was trying to do something a little too Rambo. And now they're doing the flashbang dance and Fugly does it full blind. Cirque's there as well with the orb. It's onto Bente. He has to be the no! hero. hero he is. Three frags. He's got 12 seconds. I'm worried. And so is he. Oh. Breezy saves the day again. <laughs> No frags just yet. What was that magic number I threw at you before, Alex, when you're in these kind of positions? The magic number? Is it uh, three? It is three. And Why is it three? So because the money's so low right now, if only two players survive, they can't drop three guns. He's going Hulk mode. And they've got three. He's seeing green. They've done what they needed to do. So they've kept the pressure on, which, look, I suspect Tyler, even if they lose this round, which right now, I was going to say, is very likely, but Ben Tet doing his best to claw it back in, will most likely force by again. So NRG are giving him two 1v1s after his hard work already, two frags to his name. Now he has the opportunity to head towards a site. He has got oodles of utility. He doesn't have oodles of time, though, and oodles is not a real measurement. I apologize. Oh, the for miss! That. He missed the shot! That's a problem. Cirque's going to let that bomb go down. He can't challenge. He's only got a flashbang. Bentet may have to do the dance. It doesn't even catch him. Now the rotate's coming in from Fugly. Could this be the 1v4 to keep Tai Lu afloat in map one? This would be absolutely insane. They're going to regroup. They're going to group up. Bentet, he's starting to get the timing right. One down. Surely not oh again. My he's God. done it. So close so many times, but this time he gets the cigar and Bentet doesn't even blink. That's a start. Daps, oh, this is lovely with the smoke. He has a perfect angle on the cross. He can keep his teammates safely. Does that MP9's working for him. Finds his 19th. Cirque's now arrived on the site, and he's making it work with the assault rifle. 14 to 14. NRG. Predicted by NRG. But still, it comes down to crosshairs. It comes down to heads. Let's see how this one shapes up. The coin is tossed. Comes up heads for Excurrut. Breezy and Egg. Oh my goodness, it's a massacre. The round is over. Cirque close quarters, finds attacker, and that's the 16th they were looking for. NRG.